Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, we were scrolling through some comments from some older videos uh, that we hadn't really checked back on, and we had a comment from a user by the name of Slick Rude. Sorry if I'm not getting that exactly right. Um, and they were just asking, hey, you know, would you mind sharing kind of your flight tying bench setup? And um, yeah, absolutely. So what I'm gonna do is share uh, with you my personal bench setup. Obviously everyone has a different setup. I mean, uh, so everyone even here at Water, if they're tying and they got their benches, I mean, you're, no one's gonna have the same bench. But um, I'm glad to share my setup and what I do. And maybe it'll help you improve efficiency or, you know, think about um, setup after years of tying. You really, you know, you, you, you do things so that you can tie quicker, um, so that you can tie more efficient. You want to spend, you know, basically for me, it's like if I'm going to sit down and tie, I want things to be um, close enough to where I can, you know, knock out as many, you know, dozens probably at a time. Um of flies as possible, you know, uh, as quickly as possible. So that's kind of my setup and how I've kind of built my uh, my bench and you can kind of see it a little bit behind me. Um, but yeah, definitely we'll go into more detail and I'll show you kind of what I do um, personally. And hey, if you feel like you do something at your bench that's more efficient or it's better or it's made you faster, you know, share it in the comments below. You know, this should be um, real interactive. We're trying to basically uh, help as many people as possible to, you know, have good ideas for their bench and and have a setup that they're happy with and that basically they can um, knock out a ton of flies, you know, as quickly as possible. So, yeah, so let's, let me show you my bench and see what you think. So this is kind of my basic setup here. You know, I got, um, I got my bench. I like uh, my stuff to be kind of, you know, kind of encircled around me versus completely flat. I know some people's benches are kind of flat against the wall and they got just kind of one, um, kind of one wall of stuff. And that's fine. Uh, personally, I like to be kind of, um, you know, at arm's length, I can reach anything, you know, so I got, you know, there I can see all those bins I got on the left. I got, um, from the ground up, I got a lot of synthetics in there and I'll show you some of that stuff. And, um, I got hooks at my disposal, uh, you know, really quick. You can see I got several lamps set up. Um, this is just a, a general picture for you, just my bench. Um, I got a bunch of hackles in the right, <clears throat> those right bins there, and right on the table, um, just stuff I use a lot of, and uh, in those smaller bins there. And I got dubbing up there, beads, hooks, and all that stuff. So let me get a little closer and show you um, more specifically, you know, kind of where I got everything set up. All right, so this is that... Uh... This is that big left bin, um, several bins actually. You can see I got, I got a bunch of marabou here, you know, for streamers. Um, I got uh, rabbit, you know, some rabbit fur, rabbit strips, zonkers, and stuff like that. Uh, let's see, I got some some hackles there. This is kind of all my streamer stuff here on this side, um, which honestly I don't tie a ton of streamers. So, you know, for me, um, they're not like as close as say as these smaller bins here that are actually on my desk. So, um, but they're still within arm's reach. You know, if I'm sitting here at the bench, if I'm sitting right here, you know, um, I can easily just grab over and pull these out and, uh, they're in arm's reach, arm's length and, um, easy to get to, you know, all this stuff, all this artificial fibers. I got some foam here. Uh, random feathers just kind of pick up <clears throat> here and there um, Stuff for uh, eggs and stuff like that and uh, at the top I have Open these for you. I, I, I love these little These little plastic bins here. I can put um, you can see I got all my wire here all my ultra wire um, I use I use ultra wire a lot. So um, I like to have those organized. I've tried to <laughs> A ton of different setups with with wire and thread and honestly this just seems to work best for me these little these little plastic bins um, you can see I also got my thread in here and um, you know for me personally and we can we can do a ton of videos on all this stuff if you want but um, I use certain types of thread mainly I use Danville's um, you know 
uh, wax thread and I use ultra ultra thread. Those are pretty much it. Um, I really don't use uni thread really anymore. I have some, but I don't really use it. So those two threads kind of cover it for me. And I got um, here, I got hooks in these ones, uh, all these four. I got some beads here. I got beads in this one, ton of beads. And uh, you know, I use beads a lot, so those are important. And I got more beads here. Um, these are for kind of for uh, bigger streamers. And um, and then here in these uh, these little bins here, you know, just I have um, just some rubber, you know, just random stuff, rubber legs. But I use a lot of this stuff in these little bins. I use these, you know, often. So um, that's why they're here, you know. And I got my tools. Um, anything I'm not using at the minute, I try to get it off the bench. So I'll put those, you know, back in uh, my little tool bin. And um, but yeah, so just. I mean, I can go for days here about all the materials I got, but it's, um, I use everything I buy, you know, and I think that's one thing for sure. You don't, don't just go off buying, um, random materials. You want to buy stuff that you're going to actually use. And, you know, I think probably the first couple of years you're tying, you, you're not sure exactly what you need. After a while, you'll be able to look at a pattern and just say, oh yeah, that's, I need material, this material for that. Um, I got some tube stuff or tubes, tube flies here. Um, I don't tie a ton of tube flies, but once in a while I do. So I have those there. I got some hairs there. Um, uh, midge tubing stuff. Um, and then I like to use these bins here to keep my actual fishing stuff kind of organized. So um, I have tippets and, you know, leaders and indicators, stuff like that. And then, of course, I got my dubbing. Dubbing I keep, you know, really close to me. Um, because I use it a lot, you know, so if you use something a lot, um, keep it closer, you know, keep it closer by. And then in these, these big bins here on the right, um, you know, have a lot of my, uh, my hackles, you know, and I just keep those at, um, at arm's length too, because, um, you know, I, I use those a ton. Um, I got a ton of peacock, you know, as you can see, um, real peacock. Luckily, my wife has a, an uncle who farms, and he uh, raises peacocks. So when he uh, when the peacocks are no longer necessary, I uh, I get the feathers. So that's cool. But, um, yeah, pheasant. I use a ton of pheasant. Uh, more streamer stuff and um, hackles and big stuff. And personally, for me, I don't, I don't like to throw away uh, any of my... Uh, my plastic bags that I get, you know, with hooks or, or leaders or anything, I keep them. Um, they just seem to come in handy if I'm giving someone flies or, uh, you know, just random stuff, beads or whatever it might be. I, I keep them around and then I have kind of a junk drawer down here just with a bunch of random stuff. But, um, but yeah, so that's, that's kind of my, my bench setup. And I think one of the most important things for sure is good lighting. So you see, I have I have the light in this room, but I also have, um, I got, you know, I got this black lamp, I got this auto light, and I have some extra light here that I can um, kind of move around, you know, if I need to, I can move it around and put it right over the, the vice and stuff, but I got plenty of room to tie, I can spread my arms pretty good here, um, but still everything's, uh, you know, a, a good arm's length, um, as far as close, it's close to me, you know, everything's close to me, um, so that's kind of my setup. Um, I'm glad to go into more specifics if you feel like it would be worth it. Uh, but, um, but yeah, that's kind of what, what I got going on. Like I said, if you feel like you have something better, if you have a better tip, um, feel free to use it and uh, leave it in the comments below. Um, and Hey, maybe we can all help each other out, um, improve our benches. Yeah. So we're really going to try and do more of these interactive type videos uh, in 2017. So if there's something that you want to know, um, just leave it in the comments, you know, and we'll definitely try and, um, knock that out quick. You know, we want to try to do them, you know, once or twice a week if we can, if there's something specific that you're curious about, maybe you already have a great system in place. You don't need to necessarily, um, have an answer from us, but you're just curious to see how someone else does it. We're glad to show you how we do it. Um, whether it's, you know, prepping for a trip, um, you know, what flies we're taking, what tippet, uh, you know, stuff like that. So and if there's something specific within fly tying, 
you want to know about, um, we'll definitely continue to do, you know, actual patterns and do flight tying patterns and stuff. But if there's specific things you want to hear about, you know, tools or um, types of dubbing we use or, you know, whatever it might be, um, just leave a comment and we'll definitely try and reply. And if we use yours, we'll give you a shout out in the video. Um, again, I want to thank uh, Slick Rude for uh, leaving the comment. And, um, and if you'd rather not be mentioned in the video, go ahead and let us know that too. But, um, but yeah, thanks for watching. And uh, hopefully we can do more of these interactive type videos in 2017 for you and kind of get the ball rolling and conversation going and make it a little bit more enjoyable for, uh, for everyone who's watching. So anyways, thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you soon.